Hello, welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Greg Royce, joined here by Stevenson Women's Volleyball Coach Dave Trumbo. Coach, you got back into conference play last week, um, starting with a match Tuesday night at Arcadia. Um, dropped the first set, but came back to um, you know win three to one. And what you know we talked about last week is going to be a challenging match for your team. And it really was. Uh, they're very big, very <laughs> physical at the net. Um, there was a blackout there. Everybody had black shirts on. All their, all their men's team was there because you know they have men's yeah. volleyball at Arcadia, uh, packed house. Uh, and I think that you know our kids, as much as we talked about them being good, I think they were a little surprised that they were as good as what they were. And um, I think that we just embrace that kind of crowd. Yeah. We we love it. And um, after we dropped the first set. We started playing a little bit better, yeah. and I think the big game experience that our players have <laughs> uh, probably really helped us out. Uh, and with the crowd singing "Overrated," you know, <laughs> that just that just helps us. Yeah. Uh, and because uh, they kind of embrace that kind of moment, kind of you know, just they just love it. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things we talked about this year. Is you've been in several situations like that where you've been in a playoff type atmosphere, and obviously that can only help as you you know look to your ultimate goal of. You know, advancing in the postseason. Uh, abs absolutely, and I think uh, we did not have uh, two of our starting players that night. And Megan Wren, Emily Castro stepped right up and played flawlessly. And really, it just we just have so much depth in practice. And when we have recruits watching us practice, you know, I say, now you tell me who starts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, because and they can. You just have to see them day after day after day because there's just not much difference. And right. you know, our practices are. You know, what I think we're improving. We're we're taking a step forward. We can't do that with all 18 players contributing. Yeah, um, and then you go down to Golly Dan on Wednesday, win three nothing. Then on Saturday, you go to Hood for a pair of Mac Commonwealth matches. Um, defeat like Homie Hood. Probably the big story there. Annika Schwartz becomes mm -hmm. program's all-time kill leader. Um, she did that in the first match against Lycoming, and then you know she was named Player of the Week for the second time this season on Monday. Uh, yeah, that um, the match at Hood, you know, typically um, we'll play Lycoming really tough and have difficulty with Hood. Yeah. Uh, this weekend, I was very pleased we didn't play um, poorly in either match, yeah. and we, you know, and Annika, you know, no longer the day when Annika's got to take 50 swings for us, mm -hmm. you know, which, you know, we're very balanced, and yeah. um, a lot of times, I tell you the truth, the bigger the game, the better Annika plays, yeah. and. Uh, but she played extremely well Saturday. Is very pleased for her, and she was able to get the record. We really didn't even know it because, um, uh, you know, I didn't hadn't seen a box score. Yeah. But uh, nice for her to achieve the record. We knew it was coming. Yeah. And so she's getting a lot of nice accolades her senior year, so I'm very pleased for her. Yeah. Now, looking ahead to this week, we, as we just talked about, um, you're finally home for a few matches. Yes. Um, I've been home three times this year. You've got four home games this week starting tonight. Against Elizabethtown, a very quality opponent. Talk a little bit about, about them. Uh, Elizabethtown's a little surprised this year. They did not do well in 2016. Mm -hmm. Have a brand new coach. Uh, they're 11 and five, and they really can bang the ball. Have two really good outsides. One of them's a local girl from Eldersburg that mm -hmm. uh, kind of started off with us back in fifth grade, so yeah. we know her quite well. Uh, and then we follow that with a conference match against um, Widener, yeah. which you know, conference matches are always important. And then this weekend, we get to play Washington Lee and Juniata. So uh, Washington Lee is getting point, getting votes for the top 25. And of course, Juniata, um, you know, the polls will be out today. But I think they're like 13th right now. So yeah. it's a great opportunity for us. Yeah, I mean, we've talked a little bit about that, that obviously, you know, this is a, this is a pivotal week in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. you know, being at home for some big matches. Um, you know, really, if you can come out, you know, not to look ahead, but if you came out, let's say three and one, or you know, hopefully, knock on wood, four and zero, oh, that'd be you know huge for the program, and maybe, you know, looking at NCAA implications. Well, Washington and Lee is in that ODAC conference with Randolph Macon, who have faced the last two years in NCAA, and yeah. these have not been good endings. Yeah, right. so, but uh, Washington and Lee is always, you know, it's either Washington and Lee or uh, Randolph Macon getting that bid yeah. from that conference. So that's a really, you know, the more matches we play like that, yeah. the better it prepares us for postseason and those tough matches. And you know, Juniata, of course, you know, that's just just the name, and people you know, know yeah. that they're they're a great team, and uh, so we're we're really happy happy that we're going to get a chance to compete with them on our court. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, I see you guys at home a few times this week, uh, starting tonight against Elizabethtown, 7 o'clock, Owens Mills Gymnasium. Hope to see you there. 
Um, for Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been Dave Trumbo Show.